Come here. And she's like, meow. <laughs> come here. Come here. Hi, sweetie. You want to come sit with me? Yeah. She was in the shelter for six months before, um, before I got her. So she's been in foster or, you know, in the shelter type thing for a while. So uh, Bella was the most urgent one. She was getting pretty stressed there and um, being a diabetic, it was causing her to have some internal issues as well. She's 11 years old, she is diabetic. And so that means that we have to give her insulin twice a day. This is her uh, food that she gets. It's just a Purina um, dietetic management. And it comes in big cases, so you get plenty at a time. And then, so we'll, I'll open a can. Um, I just usually like cut it in half with the fork and give her half at a time in her little bowl. And then she's very excited, gets very excited about her food. And then uh, this is the insulin that she gets. It's this particular stuff that she gets is human insulin. So um, it shouldn't be too hard to get a hold of. And yeah, I've had this vial since I think June or July and it's about half gone. So it takes her quite a while to go through it. Then she gets a shot of insulin after each meal and you just give it to her in the scruff of her neck here. Um, or kind of between the shoulder blades. Just pull up the skin and give it subcutaneously. And she's so good about it. She doesn't mind at all. She just sits there and is like, well, this is what I have to do. <laughs> Having a diabetic cat is not something that should dissuade anyone from adopting um, more of a special needs cat, you know. Um, they actually deal with it better than humans most of the time. So uh, I know a lot of people are intimidated by the factor of, you know, they're not comfortable giving shots or whatever, but it's really, really easy to learn. And it's really not that big of a routine change. And um, she's so sweet and has a lot of love to give. And so she definitely deserves to find the, the right home.